to my vlogs. Today is a daily vlog. I'm going to try to show you what a typical day in the life of me being a new mom is like. I like want to say typical in my quotation marks because having a newborn is unpredictable so every day is different and especially like in timelines but the most concrete one is i always wake up at 5 a.m to pump as you saw in the beginning of the video and right now it's about like 11 so give or take an hour i have some time around this time to like brush my teeth wash my face get my hair ready um just a feeling good for the day so i'm going to show you some products that have been really helping me as a new mom because my skin's different, my hair is different, my hair washing schedule is different, so a lot of things have had to change. So let me get started before he starts to freak out. And also big shout out to Chlorine for sponsoring this video. They make this amazing dry shampoo that I've been loving since I can't really wash my hair as often anymore. Dry shampoo is so key. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more in a couple minutes, but we're gonna start off with my skin because that's what I do first. All right, so ever since I gave birth, my skin got really, really dry and the blackheads around my nose are kind of going crazy, mainly because I constantly have my face in Nico's sweaty hair, sweaty face and spit up face, so probably why. Um, but I have been loving the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. It has like this mint in it. And so it just really, really like refreshes me, especially in the morning. If I haven't had a good night with him, slash barely got any sleep, slash waking up at 5 a.m. is still not okay with me. So anything that can help is awesome. <laughs> First up is the more Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence, which I need to get more of because as you can see, it's almost done. It is one of my favorite things. It's all natural and it's my first step to a toner. And then I actually just put another toner after too because I've been loving the smell of it. It's the Kiehl's Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. A couple of drops and press along my face again. I find this one really helps calm my skin, especially after like a rough night. I find that so important and it also smells nice. Okay, so another thing that I've been loving is the Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiant Serum Complexion Enhancing. It just is like a really, really gentle exfoliating serum. So this is the product that I love the most because especially now that we're going into fall winter with like the drier, cooler weather, this is going to be a game changer. It's the Caudalie Venusaurus SOS Thirst Quenching Serum for dehydrated skin. And I just feel like with the lack of sleep and everything, my skin is always crying out for more hydration. So I just love this one because it's a really, really good serum to enhance the texture of your skin. I've just been feeling like my skin has been a little bit more rough lately and the hydration really, really helps with making it more like plump. So I have been going like in between two moisturizers. I'm leaning more towards this one lately because it's starting to get dry. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I feel like it's like a really classic go-to. Then the other one that I really like especially like when it was a lot hotter out is the Biosense gel moisturizer. It's a lot lighter, but it still has that like punch of hydration, but I personally prefer like the texture of an actual cream better, like a full on like white cream versus a gel cream. So I haven't had time to do any type of facial massage lately. So when I put in my moisturizer and my skincare. I try to like work in a little bit. Like my gua sha routine. If you guys watched any of my vlogs before, then you would have probably seen it. But who has time with a newborn? Not me. It's feeling very hydrated and quenched. So we're gonna work on this mess that is my hair. I am definitely starting to lose hair. I'm shedding like crazy. Look at this. All right, so I comb it first and start at the ends because my hair is a lot more knotty now. My hair is like not the oiliest it's ever been, but definitely oilier than when it's freshly washed. I think it's been a couple days. 
I want to say two, could be three um, days since I've washed it last, which is why, again, dry shampoo is so key. So another thing you can notice is my hair is pretty flat, especially when it hasn't been freshly washed. Like I have no <laughs> volume in my hair, which is why I love dry shampoo because that not only helps with my oil, but it also gives me some volume. So I mentioned that Chlorine sponsoring this video and that's because I love their dry shampoo. This one is the one I use most because like I said, my hair is like super oily, um, especially since having Nico. This one's their oil absorbing one that has nettle in it and Clorane is the number one botanical dry shampoo brand in Canada and they actually won the 2020 Canadian Beauty Awards in the best hair care category so check them out and I'm going to just show you how I use this quickly because I'm running out of time. So you shake it first and then about 15 centimeters away from your scalp you're going to spray it so I'm going to start on this side. So now that you sprayed every section, you wait two minutes. So after the two minutes is up, you just comb it all out. So after I comb it out, you can see that the oil is really gone. And it also gives my hair this really nice texture that allows me to kind of juice it up and give myself some volume. So instead of like a 20 minute shower, the chlorine dry shampoo allows me to do this in three minutes, which like I don't have time for 20 minute shower. So three minutes to make myself feel and look a little bit fresher is a game changer. For those of you who want to check out the chlorine dry shampoos, they actually sell them at shoppersdrugmart.ca. They have a couple different ones. So they have the nettle one that I showed you and they have a tinted version of it. Plus they have the aquatic mint version, which is a detox one. And then they also have the dry shampoo sensitive version, which has oat milk. So that's my get ready with me now as a new mom in like the 10 ish minutes that I have around 11 o'clock every day to kind of refresh and regroup. So hopefully that helps you guys. I am going to go check on him and obviously bring you all with me. Let's have a good day. about 1.15 and I'm about to pump. So we went to the pediatrician because we had an appointment with her um, around 11.45. I usually pump around 12 to one-ish. So I'm a little late. I like to pump every like seven to eight hours, but it also depends on how Nico's doing. Right now he's napping. So I hope he continues to nap for at least 20 more minutes so I can pump in peace because there is nothing worse than pumping with a screaming baby. Um, and especially if I'm alone, there's nothing I can do, right? I like will try to give him his mobile to play with, but sometimes he just cannot be soothed. So I'm gonna yeah, pump uh, now. My hair is still feeling really good after the dry shampoo. So you can kind of see how it holds up after a few hours. Um, I quickly had lunch, had some pasta. I forgot to take a clip of it, but it was just like stir fried pasta with tomatoes, zucchini, eggplant, and stuff like that. So. Yeah, let's get pumping. Oh, and this is what I'm wearing. This is an H&M tank top. Um, I found Dre sister hook chain with a Gemini pendant for Nico and an N for Nico. And these are my absolute favorite jeans right now. They're the Citizens Emery, I wanna say. The wash is perfect. The fit is like a little bit of like a medium to high waist, which is perfect for kind of like my postpartum bod also i am still wearing like size 27 28 jeans i'm definitely not fitting in my 25 jeans right now if i will who knows i'm gonna give it a couple more months before i decide to like start selling some of them um but yeah that's a little body update <music> so i am done pumping I'm having a little popsicle right now um I am currently not eating dairy or soy, so I can't eat any of my hagen dazs but I did have some rocket popsicles and I was just craving something sweet, and um, Nico's still napping. Crazy. Such awesome. So I'm just catching up on emails, I'm trying to empty up my iCloud storage, 
because somehow I've gone through my two terabytes. So I'm going through like old videos and trying to get rid of those. Uh, so yeah, it is 2.30 right now. Halfway through the day, Travis is actually not going to be home till much later tonight. I think like 8ish. Normally he's around home around 5:30. So yeah, I'll check back in. Hello. 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 Hi, cutie. <coughs> Alrighty, go. What time is it? I think it's about 4 p.m. on your baby quilt. We're trying out a new romper sweatsuit. I think it looks pretty cute, right? Mm. Yeah. You think it looks really cute? Uh. You agree? Uh. Oh, my, 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 my. oh my, my, my. Look at your little thighs and your socks. <gasps> mm. Yeah. You're looking at some leaves. You want to show everyone what you're looking at? This is what we're looking at. Nico loves his leaves. It's nice and sunny outside. You can do it. Hi, Nico. Nico. You can do it. <gasps> Woo! Whoa. You can do it. Wow! All right, Nico. It might be time to head inside. We just got a bunch of gray clouds overhead can you guys see that yeah so i checked the weather network just now and apparently there is a severe thunderstorm warning right nico oh We are waiting for daddy to come home. He's on his way. We woke up, had a little cry sesh. I think we're trying to push out a poo. I'm not really having any luck right now. So we are walking around the house, trying to look at different things. It just started raining like crazy. It didn't rain when um, I brought us in earlier, but it got really dark really quick, just like five minutes ago. And now it's crazy. So, we're just gonna walk around. That's what we're doing right now. And wait for dad to come home so mom can eat some dinner. And then I pump again at nine usually. He's heavy, he's 14 and a half pounds already. So holding him with one hand is hard. And I feel like the rest of my night is going to be dinner, watching a little bit of TV, entertaining this guy a little bit more, trying to get him to sleep because normally we go out on a walk. But, um, because it's raining so much, I don't think we're going, but we did spend a ton of time outside playing today, so it should be okay. 